Hello everybody. So today we're making homemade mulberry jam. some of this beautiful, gorgeous, delicious mulberries and decided to do this jam using some of my garden herbs. Uh, now, you don't have to use herbs in this jam. I'm just, this is the way I, how I like to eat my jam. I'm flavoring it with rosemary and I'm making it spicy. <laughs> the kids love spicy. Everything is spicy in my house. And I'm flavoring it with some of orange zest and I'm ending it with some lemon. Mulberry produces its own pectin. I really didn't have to use sugar, uh, but uh, in this case, I'm using a fully ripe mulberry and some sour uh, unripe mulberry. It has a lot of tanginess in it. I needed to use the sugar to uh, mellow down uh, the sourness. So I have added the sugar last night and now it is giving me uh, the liquid of the mulberry. So the sugar now has um, uh, liquefied and mixed with the mulberry. It has now given me uh, natural juices of the mulberry. So let's start cooking our jam. So I'm starting the fire from high heat and keeping it on high heat until the juices start to pop it. In the meantime, I'm gonna add my herbs. You can add any spice you like, uh, mulberries and the different types of um, berries. They love cinnamon and they love cloves and some people even put cardamom. I'm not going to put any of the spices. I'm gonna be um, uh, happy adding my herbs I love my herbs. I love rosemary. So to get the juices and oils of the rosemary, I'm just gonna uh, have a, a rough chop of the rosemary. You can keep the rosemary as it is, just like that. As the mulberry cook on slow heat, slow cook, it will release its oils and juices. This is all optional, my lovelies. Beautiful. Uh, I'm not gonna chop the chilies. Too, too much. I'm just going to slip them so uh, I don't get, uh, you know, overheat. I can get uh, that kick but not overheat. I don't need to have a very spicy jam so everybody can enjoy. Adding my uh, orange skin. You can do orange skin, you can do uh, mandarin, you can do grapefruit, anything really is available in your fridge. Oh beautiful, this is my garden now. <laughs> I'm just gonna uh, boil it to bring it to boil and then reduce the heat and leave it to cook covered for about half an hour to 45 minutes. boiling it's really releasing all of its liquid and the smell in the kitchen I wish you were here with me the smell is amazing the rosemary the mulberry the orange everything so gorgeous so in this when it uh, does its, its first boil what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna add the lemon juice lemon or lime juice whatever you have in your pantry or in your fridge now I'm gonna reduce the fire and smash it gently very gently I want to see some parts of whole mulberry that is the reason I don't want to go over mashing I'll just smash it gently and with reduced fire I'm gonna uh, close the lid and let it simmer for about 45 minutes 
So the jam has been cooking under a slow to medium heat for 45 minutes. It's ready to be bottled now. I'll show you how to bottle it. The smell is amazing. The texture is perfect. So I promise you, all the time you will make it and you will distribute it to your neighbors, to your loved ones, and uh, they will really enjoy it and fall in love with it too. in my cakes and many other uh, recipes uh, but I'm sure uh, you can find them uh, visiting the farmers now is the season to get the best mulberries in Bahrain this is such a delicious jam I'd be really happy if you can show me your creation and your version of mulberry jam if you like this video and you want to see more videos please subscribe and follow my social media channels and comment anything you want, I can answer you back.